20 at WHMI. You're listening to Bethany Warren, who plays Billy Bendix in the Brighton High School Theater Troops presentation of Nice Work If You Can Get It. Bethany's in the studio with us now, along with the uh, director of the show, Josh Holowicki. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. So is it weird hearing yourself on, on the radio like that? A, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> this is my debut. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, so the show's coming up uh, not this weekend, but next, right? No, it's, it's, it's this weekend. Th- right? Is Thursday night your first performance? Friday. Or, or is it Friday? This Friday. Okay. Well, Thursday is Thursday a preview then? Ne- uh, no, oh. so uh, this weekend's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay. and then next week is Thursday through Sunday. I get it. Okay. It's a good thing. We didn't prepare for this, obviously. <laughs> we didn't go to rehearsal. We missed the rehearsal. <laughs> yes, we did. So, uh, but, uh, so, so nice work if you can get it. Uh, it's billed as Girls, Glamour, and Gershwin. Yeah, it's uh, it's a really fun, interesting new show. Uh, it was it was written just a few short years ago. Uh, it recently closed on Broadway within the last year, and it just started its national tour. and um, And we are the only site in Michigan that will be performing it while it's on its tour, which is which is really cool. We were able to. Um, Get our hands on some advanced rights to do the show. How do you how do you guys go about that? Becoming the first to do such a show like this because I know there's been other shows over the Brighton Center for the Performing Arts from the high school that uh, are first time arounds. What, what kind of ends do you have there? Well, you know we we try and maintain really good relationship with the uh, licensing companies and um, and keep our eye on when these shows are coming about. We're we're always really interested in doing new unique and interesting shows and bringing those to our community and uh, we actually saw this um, on Broadway and we're totally blown away with uh, with the quality of the show um, you know it's it's great Gatsby meets your favorite comedy all wrapped up in the most spectacular Gershwin music uh, you can imagine all in one package it's it's unbelievable so Bethany being able to get a part like this you know that is relatively new is you know a big broadway hit still out touring the country as opposed to say the more traditional high school uh type of productions you know which are fine in and of themselves but uh but this is something that's you know sort of right on right on the the cutting edge out there in the in the public's mind that's really gotta be pretty exciting it is really exciting and it's also kind of exciting that um most of the public has not seen this show like you've only seen it if you've been to new york and seen it on broadway So it's not something like Wicked or, or Grease last year where everybody knows the story. So, I mean, we have some surprises up our sleeves that, like, people don't know about. And I think that's what makes this show so exciting is that people are not going to expect things that happen in this show. Um, and so it's fun to, like, see people react to those secrets. So tell us about your character, Billy Bendix. Okay, so, yeah, my name is Billy Bendix, and I am the head bootlegger of um, the operations in Long Island. So... I am. Um, I have two helpers. One's named Duke, and one is Cookie. And we are trying to find a place to hide 400 cases of gin that we got um, from our head. I guess boss Brownbeard um, is the undercover. Name. <laughs> I just love the character names. Yes. Right off the bat, I want to go see it. I know. <laughs> and this is set in the Roaring Twenties too, it which is. the costuming has to be kind of cool too. Oh, the fun. costume is. The costumes are amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, we have, I mean, obviously the speakeasy, and we have, you know, the showgirls. Uh, Doing the Charleston and things like oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah, so okay. much Charleston. So do, do you have to learn those do, those dances uh, yeah. to get that down? Yeah, we. Um, his wife is our, our dance coordinator, our choreographer, and she has a team of other students who um, help choreograph the show. And so they, I mean, we kind of went off what Broadway did. Um, but some things we didn't, you know, we couldn't know. So we just, we went with the style, stuck with the, the Roaring Twenties dancing, and it's really fun. Very fun stuff. And it, uh, it opens on the 20th, goes through the 29th. Now, now, Josh, as far as tickets, getting them in advance, that's probably a good idea. We strongly, strongly advise folks to get tickets in advance. They're available at brightonmusical.com. Um, you can attempt to get them at the door. Last year for Greece, we sold out. 102% of our tickets, which meant that some people turned tickets back in and we were able to resell them. Um, so there was lines and lines of people waiting at the door attempting to get tickets, and it just didn't happen. So we, we really, really advise folks to, to get them at brightonmusical.com in advance, which would be right now. 
And and what kind of age range are you hoping to encouraging to come see this? Yeah, the show is rated PG. We actually put that rating on there just because it's you know it's set in the twenties. It's got some you know content there, but I, I, we advise folks to use the same discretion that they use when when seeing a, a PG rated movie. So whatever age group that, that fits in, you know, down to middle school, I. It would would be very appropriate. It's it's highly entertaining, um, and you know there's there's like I said, we put that rating on there just to be just to be safe for people. Oh, you want to put so, it out there so people will kind of get an idea of what to expect for the show. Now, how many how many students are involved in this? So we have 110 students who are um, involved both on stage and off stage cast. Um, so whether that's uh, you know in our orchestra pit or helping administratively and things like that, and then we've got another 200 plus parent volunteers. So we've got well over 300 folks involved in uh, in pulling this together and, and putting it together, and um, we're really we're really excited about it. There's a there's a couple of special events uh, this weekend. Uh, we've got a red carpet gala night on Saturday night, which is a fundraiser, and uh, uh, folks are going to be in uh, black tie and gals and flapper dresses and, and long dresses and things so that'll be a lot of fun and there's still some tickets available for that um, and then on uh, Sunday the 22nd we have a, a really interesting thing Dr. Mark Clegg who's a professor of musicology from the University of Michigan and who is quite literally the world's foremost expert on uh, the library of Gershwin music is coming and he is going to be sharing a lecture with us immediately following Sunday evening uh, or Sunday afternoon's performance the Sunday performance at 4.30. So his lecture will begin about 7.15. It's free. It's open to the public. Uh, you don't have to have a ticket to the show to come to that lecture. Oh, very cool. Um, and so we're really excited about that. And, uh, and, and he's going to be at the show, I take it? He will be at the show. Yeah, no yeah. pressure there. Eh? No, you, not you gotta, at all. just got to be spot on. <laughs> you got right? the world's <laughs> foremost expert on Gershwin. Absolutely. Yeah. The Absolutely. Gershwin guru is going to be there. You're going to be all over Bethany, that. are you uh, prepared for that? Uh, that's quite the, well, the critique. I know. I think three months has prepared us pretty well, yeah. so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, break a leg. I know it's going to be great. You guys always do great shows there. Nice work if you can get it. Opens on the 20th, and you can get more details at brightonmusical.com. Thanks for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.